this was like 30 minutes pure pure motorcycle pleasure I enjoyed so much good morning quarter past six there's only one problem with this wild camping that you have to wake up very early a leaf before people start moving around for me this is not a problem at all because I wake up early anyway so last night I went to sleep around 10 and woke up at 5 o'clock pack all of my stuff no garbage left behind nothing and I'm ready to go for today I have a, like a 400 kilometers not much I'll stay with a friend in a town in uh, Spain so yeah let's move around it was nice I slept and relaxed well and the most important <laughs> it was free so time to hit back it was the road here okay let's go back now uh, we'll ride slowly and the first possible petrol station I'm gonna stop have some coffee maybe eat something even though I'm not hungry now at the moment let me find the road where was the road so if you ask me will I do it again yeah absolutely I did it many times and I will do it many times because this is a uh, free camping cost you nothing just like that why not and now of course I have this sunrise early morning start which is fantastic at the moment is 16 degrees but I am sure that later it will be over 35 again no rush I have more than enough time the friends that I'm gonna stay uh, I haven't seen from a long long time so I will have at least a little bit more time because tomorrow evening I plan to leave so if I go there around lunch time, it will be even better. Of course I do not expect anything to be open before 8 o'clock. Maybe a petrol station somewhere, maybe. We'll see. But it's good to have coffee, at least. Almost 7 o'clock, 14 degrees. And the sunrise. I really enjoy this early morning rides and it is also a nice way to avoid the heat and gain more kilometers I found one coffee open I got my coffee I got some breakfast oh, good. I can continue now Oh, finally the sun came I couldn't remember when on this trip was the last time when I was enjoying the sun because it was so hot but now early morning it is still 16 degrees and I'm riding from two hours and most of the time I'm cold of course I have clothes I have everything but I don't want to stop to take all of these clothes from my back and then after two hours I have to put it back again because it will be too hot so this sun now is very much appreciated I haven't filmed much and I will probably won't because this, this road is not really interesting it's a straight line and in 99% of the time I have the sun in front of me but whatever I need just to get there and at least this is not a highway so I'm all right with this. Ah, oh, this is nice. This is nice.
This is San Leonardo. Beautiful old town. Nice over there. Ah, this is beautiful cathedral, beautiful. Very detailed. This is Bunuel. Bunuel, I don't know. So this is the town that I need to reach. And this will be everything for today. I'll continue tomorrow. Good morning from Bunuel, which is located right over there. Saragossa is here. Today I have this very, very difficult ride of 113 kilometers this way. It is what it is. I'm gonna stay with friends in Pamplona. I stayed with friends here. So this will be the most easy day since the beginning of my trip. But from tomorrow, I'll be very, very strict and I have to ride at least 500 kilometers a day until I get back home. So yesterday were like 400, today is 100, but from tomorrow, will be very very strict right the friends that I stayed here were great they're Bulgarians and as Bulgarians they asked me to eat the whole world I ate so much so it will be the same tonight uh, the rest of the trip I was eating whatever I found when I have the chance but these two days will be very hard the distance is, as I told you, 100 kilometers, but because I'm gonna use the secondary roads and uh, different diversions, it will take like two hours. It was a fire here two days ago. You can see the, the situation. Still some smoke here and there. They stop it, but a lot of things are burned. At least the road goes through small towns and villages like this, so I don't need to stay on the highway and be boring. This is a little bit more interesting, I would say. Ah, this is nice, huh? This is this viaduct again. Pamplona, I don't know. Here we go, Pamplona again. The reason I came here the first time and the reason I'm coming here now is because I have a friend here. And uh, they've got a small girl, seven years old. And uh, when I was here the first time, I promised to her that I'm gonna stop again on the way back and because I promised I have to keep my promises and that's why I'm coming now again. So today will be something like a day off almost because I got just 100 kilometers but from tomorrow, as I said, will be very very strict right until I get back home. 8 o'clock in the morning I slept a little bit longer but because uh, the family that I was stay at with got a small kid they need to be on the school today and I don't want to awake them early morning to break their habits that's why I did it but from today I will be very very strict as I said already and I have to cover as much as possible kilometers per day at least five six seven hundred per day 
to go back home so the fun part of uh, my trip is I'll say over now it's just riding 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 until I get back home of course I will avoid highways but uh, I might need to take it here and there otherwise it will be just too much too many hours and days but we'll see how it's going nice to be on the road again it was very very good like a day off yesterday but it is time to ride again to go on this riding mode and continue my journey Pamplona is a nice little town that I would like to visit again and the friends here were great so yeah it was a really nice stop let's fill the tank Buenos dias Número 7 Con tarjeta Papel no tienes Ok Vale Ok, no tienes, no tienes Gracias I don't know, did I told you, but in Spain they've got the the most cheap petrol at the moment because government made this 20% discount for every liter so every time you pay you pay a little bit less than what you see okay tank is full after 50 60 kilometers i should enter france on the south west border or something like that francia france so 10 minutes later I'm on this beautiful road which goes over the mountain and after 60 kilometers I should be in the France. It is 18 degrees at the moment, very very good riding conditions. I hope it will stay like this until lunchtime at least. After that I'm gonna survive. In one of these small towns maybe later when I reach France I'm gonna stop and make breakfast because now I'm still <laughs> no hungry just got my coffee This was like 30 minutes, pure, pure motorcycle pleasure. I enjoyed so much. And this is a beautiful small village or town, whatever it is. A lot of hikers. Uh, the high elevation that I got over there on the top was like 1000 meters. But road conditions and everything, fantastic. 